right guys is a another flip car this is a 1988 c1500 chevy of course silverado package i believe it uh pretty good shape overall i mean for the year and you got the interior stuff here and here you got uh mm, something going on with the wiring i don't know probably some of that good old arkansas engineering and the ignition's out and there's something going on with the shifter here there's one here and there's one here they uh disconnected that and made it into floor shifter so you can see it's pretty nasty they've already done the radio kit where they moved it over here but there's no radio dash is in good shape inside's not terrible oh pop this hood is walk around we'll get over there and look at it uh bed's pretty straight it's a little dirty got the spare tire on it right now so that uh tire in the back is actually extra everything works on it it's supposed to anyway see this where they took spare put spare on um you can see on both doors this trim's off so i don't know if i'm gonna try to buy another piece of trim or just take all this trim off just let the chrome be down there i guess we'll kind of see how it looks as we clean it up this paint is uh is gone so you know saving the paint we'll clean it up anyway but oh boy chicken bones yummy uh windshield's good windows hand crank but they work this is the only actual dent in this truck which i'm pretty sure i can get that out the rest of it's just like dings and they're everywhere oh this is gonna take two hands we're gonna have to do the old bang while pulling it up Let's try to pop it again. As you can see, it also needs a grill. This grill is pretty shot, and over here it's busted, and there's no marker light there. So there we go. It is a 305 carbureted or not carbureted sorry throttle body injected uh the battery which i guess that's a ground sure uh yeah i like this battery hold down too that's pretty slick like i said everything works the ac i have already bypassed the uh, the uh switch here low pressure switch the compressor does kick on it does blow cold so we either got a leak somewhere or uh and or it's just low on freon so we'll we'll throw some freon in it this is our 12 system so we'll throw some 134 in there and hope it doesn't mess everything up uh washer flood does work i'm not exactly sure what this goes to but we'll figure it out it is missing the cover i got one coming coming it does have upgraded wires or updated they use some zip ties to hold them in place as you can see the spark plugs are pretty old um so we got some things to do to it but overall this truck is pretty good let's go back over here tires are okay condition they need some air and some cleaning these wheels should clean and polish up pretty good so i don't know if you guys know anything about gms but uh there's no key so in order to start it got the steering column open here you take this, push it up. Hold it up and start it. And then shut it off. It's gonna be the same way. So they got just one of the gauges they put in hooked up, which it does work as you see. This works of course. Pretty solid old truck. Like I said, this is nothing. 
so instead of replacing the column to get rid of it i'm going to have new ignition i'm going to put in but then right here i'm just going to knock this pin out i think and pull this off that way ain't putting a whole new column in um the speedometer does not work um so we'll have to figure out what we're going to do with the cluster i'm not exactly sure yet i may replace it this is the switch gears Or I may put something else on it because right now it's just straight pipe. Uh, I do have some door hinges for it because these are gone. So, door pins, I should say the hinges are okay. But, like I said, overall good truck, there's no rust. Pin your seal's not even leaking. That oil leak is actually from another car. It's not from this truck. There's no leaks on it. Doesn't really smoke. It does need a oil change. Like I said, the paint's pretty much gone, but we'll clean it up anyway. We're going to do some videos on this. This is just video one kind of introduction. We'll come back and do all the parts I got for it. I got a bunch. In the comments below, you guys got to just click and see what you guys think. Tell me if I should... Put another strip on the doors or we should just take that strip around all together off and just leave the chrome on the bottom anyway guys if you're interested in this this is of course for sale so hit me up all right guys back here with the 88 c1500 got the uh all these parts off for the steering wheel here is the old ignition lock solenoid or whatever um yeah somebody beat it up pretty bad so in theory, I should be able to slide this in there. Okay, so we got this and the hole. Does this have to go on the bottom? Oh. So that's where that goes. Now let's go ahead and pull this up real quick. Oh, and that's all it does, turn that thing in the back. So I've got to make sure that lines up. So then, we should be able to take the key, if it's lined up, Now we gotta get locked in there. Anyway, so we'll take this little lock pin here. We'll put it in this hole right here. And it'll lock this solenoid from coming out. Or this, I don't know what you call it. I guess you call it a solenoid anyway. It locks this ignition key set from coming out. And uh, that's it on replace ignition. The rest of it's just putting all this stuff Got that set in, it's all the way back. Got our little lock here. Alright, we'll tighten that up in a second. All this will go back on. I will tell you, you know, to get this part off, you had to get this ring off. And without breaking the ring, you, you had to use one of these 
wasn't too bad expensive but pretty annoying now you usually have to use steering wheel puller on this one it's already an aftermarket one so i didn't anyway guys i'll get it back together and uh show you guys what it does thanks all right well i got it back together we're still gonna have to get a plate to cover this you know where it used to be or whatever uh it starts fine we're gonna go ahead and pull this pin out of here it's all tight and everything i did forget to put this little cap back on uh and i don't have a steering wheel puller so i can't get this back off so i'll have to do that at another time it does lock like it's supposed to There it goes. Anyway, guys, it's like it's supposed to be. So now I'm gonna pull this pin out. I'm just gonna take it, hit this pin at the bottom, and tap it out, and pull this rod out of the way. That's pretty good in there. I'm gonna have to get something. In the tap. Kind of tight, maybe like a. Oh, what are you calling darn things? Anyway, just kind of tap it right there. 